going to do a very simple oven roasted potato. This is a really nice, uh, nice thing to do with all those garden herbs that you have. So I've got a couple different kinds of herbs here. I've got some rosemary and I've got some nice flat leaf or Italian parsley. The, the rosemary has a much more woody stem, which is uh, not very palatable. So if, if you chew on that, it's more like chewing on a, a twig. Whereas the parsley has a really nice herbaceous stem. So the difference being is that I don't want to chop up the rosemary stem into the food itself. I just want to pull the leaves off. And here's a real easy way to do that as opposed to pulling off individual leaves. I just hold the stalk so that the leaves are, are pointing upward off of the stalk, hold it near the tip, and then just simply pull down. And you see how all those leaves just come off no problem. Now in order to chop that up, I don't like to just start, like, to start chopping, to chop individual leaves. So instead what I'll do is I'll bundle it up into a little bundle here, and then I'll chop it. So I get a lot more done at once. So you just go ahead and chop through that once. Maybe regather it, chop it again. And before you know it, you've got some really nice fresh chopped rosemary. It's a lot more tasty than the dried stuff you can get. And it's also pretty easy to grow in your own yard. So I'm gonna chop up the parsley much the same. I'll just take, up, take the leaves, but I'm not gonna worry about removing those stems. I'll bundle them up, and then I'll chop through them. And I say chop, but what I really mean more is slice, because it looks like I'm chopping, but when I hit the food, I actually push forward and slice the herbs, because if you, if you were just to chop and chop, you'd actually bruise them, and they'd turn a little bit more brown. But if you push forward when you make contact, you're gonna slice it, and it's gonna stay much more bright, green, and vibrant. So now that I have my herbs in place, it's very easy to, uh, to, to roast some potatoes. I'm just gonna take some of these Yukon Gold potatoes, and I'll cut them in half, just one time through. See how nice and yellow they are. So we'll just cut them all, and then I'll stick them into a much larger bowl than I think I'll need. And we'll mix it up with just a little bit of canola oil, salt and pepper, and then throw the herbs in. Now the reason I like to use the canola oil is because it's, uh, I'm gonna cook this at a pretty high temperature. It's gonna be 425 degrees, and olive oil has a tendency to smoke at that temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and use this, this canola oil. If you like the flavor of olive oil, you can always mix it 50-50 with, with a more high temperature uh, neutral oil like canola, or you can just sprinkle it on at the end, which is what I'd like to do because it keeps that nice raw olive flavor. So I've got some oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt Potatoes really need salt, in my opinion, to taste really good. And a few grinds of fresh black pepper. I'm gonna put some of this rosemary. Not too, too much, but, but a, nice, a nice amount. Maybe about a teaspoon. And then a little bit of that fresh parsley. And you see, I can just toss it around in this bowl, since it's a real nice big bowl, as opposed to if it were a little one, and I'd be dropping them all over the place. Next, I'll just take the bowl and, and pour the potatoes right onto a sheet pan and I'm gonna pop it into the oven at 425 for about 45 minutes or until they're fork tender. You notice I have them cut side up. If they were cut side down, what would happen is they'd char a little bit too much to the bottom of the pan. So I like to, to roast them cut side up so they get a nice brown golden uh, color instead of that black charred color. And I wanna show you when, when I know it's done, they're, they're fork tender. I can just take a fork and stick it in and you can feel that it doesn't have any resistance. It's not like a raw potato anymore. It's, it comes out pretty easily. You know you're ready to go there. So there we have it. Mm -hmm.